Hey everyone, it's Whitney and I'm coming to you from the fire pit here at camp. Uh, today we are going to be making no sew heat pads. Um, so a few things you're going to need is um, old socks. The knee high ones are great or a fluffy one. Whatever color, whatever design you want, yours. One or two, doesn't matter. Um, a toilet paper roll or a paper towel roll or a funnel, whatever, to help you get the rice in. Um, about four cups of rice, depending upon the size of your sock. Uh, some ribbon, if you would like to add to the end of your sock. Scissors. And if you want to add like any fun scents or anything to um, it, so like essential oils or whatever. Um, I have a peppermint one here for me. That's kind of my favorite smell, so... To start, you're going to get your socks ready. So I have mine pulled apart here. I'm going to use some blue ones today. Then you're going to have your rice. And if you're going to add any scent to your rice, flaxseed, beans, whatever, um, it's easiest to put them in a bag. And then you're going to take your oils. And you're going to just drop a few drops in. So... So I added mine in, and then you're going to take your bag, and you're just going to shut it off, make sure it's nice and tight, and you're going to shake it up. Okay. And then you can open it up and smell need any more I think that's perfect for me um, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your funnel toilet paper roll whatever and I'm gonna close off my bag a little bit because as you guys know as I've mentioned in other videos I make a mess so and then you're gonna take this and you are going to put your rice into your sock And there it is. And you can use whatever filling you want. So, bean, dried beans, flaxseed. Uh, they recommend like the whole, not the super fine, like grind, grinded stuff. So I used about the whole bag. And I think I had about four cups in there. I'm, I didn't really measure, so. Okay. And then what you're going to do is get it all kind of smushed around in there. And you're going to take it and you're going to tie it off. Okay. And you can cut any like excess you have off. I'm just going to roll mine over like that. And then you can take a ribbon. And the ribbon's just strictly for decoration, so it's nothing fancy. And add it there, and then you can heat it up in the microwave um, for a little bit with a little cup of water to help moisten it so you don't burn the rice. And then you can use it if your neck is hot, or if you have a hurt neck or a hurt wrist. You can also put them in the freezer, um, and they can use to be cool you off, all that fun stuff. So... Hope you have fun.